Good day everyone! I am Ms. Ridi Senesal together with Grisel May A. Hamito and our assigned report is all about Baroque art. In our topic outline, we will be discussing the introduction, the Baroque painting, the Baroque sculpture, and the Baroque architecture. Introduction to the topic Introduction to the topic, Baroque period started 17th to 18th century. So era in the arts that started in the Italy in the 17th century and flourished elsewhere well into the 18th century. It comes with art, sculpture, and architecture. So the word Baroque derives from the Portuguese and Spanish words for a large, irregularly shaped pearl, baroco, and barueco, respectively. So this period is overly ornamented and exaggerated, and includes anything that seems excessively ornate or elaborated. So in this art, it focuses more on the exp expression of each artwork, and the expressive way possible to see each artwork in this era. The next topic that we are going to discuss is about Baroque painting. Baroque painting illustrated key elements of Catholic dogma, either directly in biblical works or indirectly in mythological or allegorical compositions. Along with this monumental high-minded approach, painters typically portrayed a sense of strong movement using swirling spirals and upward diagonals and strong sumptuous color skin in order to dazzle and surprise. Also, by focusing on spiritual and theological themes throughout the Baroque period, painters attempted to convey the visual drama or action of their day. And these are the examples of Baroque paintings. On the upper right side of the slide, is um, the artwork entitled The Judgment of Paris by Peter Paul Rubens and on and below of it is the artwork entitled David with the Head of Goliath by Caravaggio and Giuseppe De Angelis. And the largest um, picture shown in this slide is the artwork entitled The Battle of the Amazons by Peter Paul Rubens and John Bregel the Elder. As seen in the artwork, the mentioned characteristics of Baroque painting are visible such as the strong sense of movement through the use of swirling spirals and upward diagonal brush strokes. Um, the strong sumptuous color scheme is also present in this work of art thus giving dazzle and surprise. It also gives the audience a sense of tension through the use of visualized drama on it. Next is Baroque sculpture. Next is Baroque sculpture. So Baroque sculpture attempted to capture dynamic movement of human figures spiraling around an empty central vortex or reaching outwards into the surrounding space. Baroque sculpture was meant to be viewed from all angles and displayed centrally rather than against a wall. It has an expressive ornamental and dynamic personality and was mainly used to decorate religious palaces and public places so basically baroque sculpture tends to view in any angle as possible it also portrays and made to be human-like artwork which we can be easily appreciated so one of the example of the baroque sculpture is the rape of proserpina by Gian Lorenzo Bermini. So quick description of this artwork, it is a rendition of the story of the god Pluto and Roman goddess Proserpina in which Proserpina was attacked by an enamored Pluto and being dragged into the underworld. And now we are down to the last topic um, about Baroque art. This is Baroque architecture. Baroque architecture was designed to create a spectacle and illusion. Thus, the straight lines of the Renaissance were replaced with flowing curves 
while domes or roofs were enlarged and interiors carefully constructed to produce spectacular effects of light and shade. It was an emotional style which, wherever possible, exploited the theatrical potential of the urban landscape, as illustrated by St. Peter's Square in Rome leading up to St. Peter's Basilica. And these are the picture of St. Peter's Basilica and this St. Peter's Square. These are considered the most, the one of the most famous um, Baroque architectures in the world. And now we are done discussing about the topics under Baroque art. And to summarize everything that we have discussed, these are the key points that we have pointed out. We have learned that this is a period that is extravagant and heavenly bizarre. It is highly ornate and elaborate art of style. It was sometimes considered to be excessively decorated and overly complicated. It is hugely important as ornaments in the structural spaces both indoor and outdoor. Also, Baroque painting focuses on spiritual and theological themes throughout the Baroque period. And lastly, Baroque architecture was designed to create spectacle and illusion. And these are the reference or sources that we used in order to um, discuss this topic. That's all. Thank you so much for listening.